Hey up YouTube. I know I said there probably wasn't going to be another video, but there is. Back down at bench again today. And we might have some already. Throwing a rod out. I'm going to wrote credits and I'll see you in a sec because this is. Uh, Didn't bring shelter, and of course it started to rain. And in broad coat, be right. So we're getting second rig ready. That rod twitching never developed into all. I think it was probably just wind. What am I doing? So yeah, we're back down at the bench. The hunt for smooth hounds and doggies continues. We're just, I'm just using, ow, a pulley dropper, just with straight squid on. Nothing fancy. Very impromptu trip. Went to the hospital today to find out when they're inducing baby. And, it's on the 4th, my, August the 4th, six days before my birthday. So, took the opportunity to get probably the last fishing trip in for a couple of weeks. Um, and come down, evidently ill-equipped. <laughs> Don't matter, it's only a bit of rain in it. Put my jacket on in a sec. Can always take shelter in be in bench if I need to. So yeah, getting another bait ready. Hopefully Mr. Seal won't make too much of an appearance today. And hopefully neither will the weed. There's a load of birds sat right out in front of you. But yeah, I'm back down with Kurt again. We're actually neighbours this time. We're quite close to one another. He's had the sense to bring a shelter. I just couldn't be bothered to carry it, truth be told. But pardon me. So I'm gonna sit and get miserable on my chair on my box with a cup of tea. Oh come here. We are high tides around half past nine and it's about seven o'clock. So we're not expecting a great deal of action on the rods. This is very much a high tide mark, as far as I'm aware. I do have in my bait today the option of some frozen black log. Not too sure it's worth using it, in truth. We shall see, we shall see how the food the feeling takes me i've made a slight adaption to the clip down and i've put a, an imp on the end to hold the hook a bit more captive in the hope that it makes rigging it up easier uh, and so far it seems to be doing just that it was suggested actually that whilst I can't get out fishing that I do some rig, rig videos. So I might do, I don't know. My reply to, 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 to the gent who said do some rig tying videos was, I don't feel as I'm qualified enough to tell people how to tie rigs. 
I've only been fishing seven months. Um, but I might do, I might do. It's like he says, the way he ties it might be different. You know, we all learn from one another, don't we? So we'll see, we'll see. I'll show you at sea anyway. It's nice and calm. It's overcast, it's dark. So all things being equal, it should be good weather for the hounds. Oh, looks like a naughty gnome sat on his stone on it in somebody's back garden. Anyway, so look at sea. Not a great deal to see. It is the sea, and you've seen it a few times recently on the channel. But it is nice and flat calm. Got a couple of other rods out to our left. There they are. I shan't dwell on them too long because I've not got permission to film them. I don't know whether I'm going to stick two rods out today. Normally I would. But I don't know. We'll see how the feeling takes me. But I do have a rant lined up that I'm going to have later on. Put your rod tip, eh? If I can get your rod tip. Yeah, I do have a rant lined up for today, so I might have a bit of a rant later on. We'll have to see. See how it goes. Looks like Kurt might be a little snagged up. Certainly hope that's not a sign of things to come, fella. How's it come? Good lad. If that were me, I'd have lost that. <laughs> you getting pulled round to the left? Oh, I'll ask him in a minute, he's busy. I think I'm getting pulled round to the left here. We didn't expect to see a great deal of, uh, of pull, but uh, I suppose it depends what's on line, if there's a load of weed. He has got weed on his line. Looking at the... Uh... Let's show Kurt, eh? I know he don't mind, I've asked him enough times. Um, Looking at the shoreline, as it were. There is certainly a lot of weed at the shoreline, but there isn't at last night's tide line, so we don't I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I really don't know what to expect. I'm getting a lot of tide noise, so I suspect that we've got a butt ton of weed. I really do. I think we've got a load of weed. I'm getting a load of wave noise. So. I thought you might have been. Have you brought me in? <laughs> right, so I'll wind it in. I don't think you have. I think you might have one of mine from other day. I'm off to the left. Unless it swings all the way back round. Yeah, there we go. It's all right, lay it down.
I got it. Cheers. I think. Sorry? Oh, there is a fair bit of pull, isn't there? Oh, that's not what, that's a big lump, lump of wood as well. Watch out for that. Over there, look. Big lump of wood. It is pulling. Are you changing bait already? Is that why you've come in? Are you changing bait already? We haven't been out that long, have we? Have we? Shit. Mass you, yeah, I suppose I'll set camera up. I know I've been filming for 10 minutes. Right. Okay. That's why we have two rigs ready. <laughs> That's better. So have you got <laughs> Is that bouncing? Oh, that's why. So, did you cast right? If I cast straight, I should be all right then, shouldn't I? Yeah. If I can cast straight. Left a bit, should be all right. I think we're only getting dragged across because of weed. Right, shut you off for a bit. Oh, you know what, let's do a bit of time lapse, eh?
We are, without looking at the time, about an hour away from high tide. The weed once again is relentless. Um, although I have a strong suspicion in my years of wisdom, knowledge, wisdom and knowledge, that we are reeling in through it. I don't think it's, I don't think the baits are sitting in it. I think we're reeling in through it. I don't know. It's just what it feels like. It's just what it feels like. Um, we could have seen one or two little knocks. Uh, it's one of them where it's it sort of was it, wasn't it? You know. So, but the baits are getting messed up. Are you in? Good lad. Pulled out of it. Come on. Show us a fish. It looked like it as well. Your rod were bouncing as you were lifting. I'm not used to having continual lines out, so. Hey? Well. Oh yes. There's just no need, is there? Look at this. There's just no need, is there? They're going to go straight through my line. Am I going to bring it in? No. No words. They're the cyclists. They're the cyclists of the fishing world, aren't they? Which leads me on to my actual rant that I have today. Which is cyclists, you know, I'm all for cyclists that observe the highway code and use roads responsibly, carefully, and thoughtfully. But I don't know what it's like where you live, but where I live, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of cycle roads. A lot of cycle roads. A lot of cycle paths. And I grant you, in some instances, they're full of parked cars. And in those instances, I can't fault what the cyclists do by moving out into the road or going onto the pavement. But not a day goes by, not one, where I don't see a cyclist riding a metre from the kerb, so in the road, next to a cycle path. I, ju I don't get it. I don't get it. There's a cycle path. The one today, an old fella today, clearly riding home from work, fair play to you, you're riding to and from work, you're doing your bit, you're keeping healthy. I can get behind that. But he's, he's riding down one of the main roads, a metre from curb, and once again, I could also, I could get behind it if there was a load of pedestrians on cycle path that shouldn't be there. But there was not a soul. Not a soul. And he's making all these cars on this 40 mile, 40 mile an hour road go around him. Causing a right obstruction. Why? Why? I don't get it. Why do it? I don't, I just don't understand. 
the desire to do that putting you know basically putting your life at risk when there's a cycle lane right next to you why it really really pees me off I can understand in certain circumstances I can completely get behind them I completely I completely agree with what the way they behave in some instances the other thing that gets on my nerves on roads is everybody has to be a learner at some point so why why guys don't you when you see a learner driver why don't you give them the space that they deserve and that they need to learn in why get right up their asses why go steaming round them just a bit of patience guys everybody's got to learn you know and then you complain that there's there's, there's kids coming onto the road that can't drive well you might not have given them space to learn maneuvers that they needed to learn you know come on play fair lads and lasses give them a chance so anyway all four rods that are out all we're bringing in is is clumps of weed it's not a great deal to talk about today to be honest it's finally stopped raining so i can finally see some point behind cleaning off my glasses but it's finally stopped raining I'm getting more used at casting cannon. I've got to say, I'm getting more used at casting cannon. And I am now thinking about putting one on the Akios. Because you don't have to use it when it's fitted. I have found that you can still, you can still cast normally. Let's, I'm gonna go have a cup of tea. So we'll just change the bait. So we've got 10 minutes. Come and have a chat come and have a chat with me I'll put you there so that I can watch me rod and talk to you so give me a sec let me set the camera up oh and I've got a wet backside but yeah I was going to come fishing last night um, I'm kind of glad we didn't actually the fellow that's down there Danny put a video up on one of the local fishing web Facebook pages of the weed that was rolling in last night it was it was pretty damn bad so I'm glad we didn't come last night. Uh, but the sea's like a mill pond still. There's no wind, no breeze. It should. It should be good smoothie sea. It really, really should. Time will tell. And hopefully, even if I don't get one, I'm hoping, fingers crossed for, for all of us, Kurt, uh, the lads down there, obviously myself, um, fingers crossed for all of us that we, that we, that we see something today. Your lead legs while you're up. Kurt, set your lead while you're up. So yeah, it's, 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 it's prime conditions. This, from what, sort of discussing with Kurt and things like that, from what I've heard, this place really should pick up in August, mid to late August. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I said this is my first, as, 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 as you guys know, this is my first ever year sea fishing. So I'm having to learn where, where I can fish as the year goes on. I'm really hoping for a good cod season. Um, I've very kindly been shown some cod marks um, that... I may not be able to show on camera. Um, well, I'll be able to film there, but I'm not going to necessarily be able to talk about the exact location. Um, just to respect some of the fishermen that have very kindly told me the mark, told me where it is, shown me how to get there. Um, I don't want to you know they know I'm a youtuber but I don't want to spoil the mark for them so 
a little bit of respect where it's due. But we'll, 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 there's a couple of, oh, there's obviously Immingham Wall. I will be fishing Imming, Immingham Wall. Uh, but there is another place that I've been told about and shown how to get to. Um, so we will be, there's, there's a couple of cod marks. I'm told actually that this is quite, you heard this, that this is meant to be quite a good cod mark. It's just absolutely freezing in winter. I think it was Blaine telling me that down, you know, down other end where that inlet comes out, where it sort of, where it sort of creek is, where it beck is. He says apparently down there is a, is a good cod mark if you can stick the cold. Of course, you're completely open. Eh? Well, yeah, but at least if you, well, at least for me, if you're out at Starley, I can sit in the car and watch me rod. But yeah, no, I was, uh, I was, I, th I think it was Blaine was telling me that it is a really good cod mark, but he said he tried it last year and he froze his knackers off. So. Well, that's true. I don't know. I don't know if you stuck it out long enough. That's only reason I got those those cannons really for, for winter. You can't half make your fucking make your fingers stink, aren't you? And I might I might put braid on that. But surf blaster were made for it. Surf blaster were made for braid. Yeah, according to Penn it was. And that rod's right stiff, so I'm thinking. Maybe it might be worth a shot. I'm not going to strip it until that line's dead, like, but apparently, talking to some of the lads, apparently, mono, you should change every year anyway. Is it, is it rots? I don't know how true that is, I don't know. But it's not a shop that's told me that, you know, it's not somebody trying to make some money out of me, it's another fisherman. So I might, I might stick some drink. I was tempted the other day actually, because I went on to, I don't know whether it were Veals or Angling Direct's pink, pink label sale or something, or one at sales. And they had that Darwin J braid, which is meant to be dog's bollocks. In sale for, I think we're, 15 quid off. It's, it's gone out of production, spider wire. Yeah. But yeah, that is meant to be good, which is why I was surprised when I read it's gone out. But whereas mono, you, like I say, I'm told, which you're supposed to change every year, braid you don't need to because it don't rot. It's not plastic, is it? Proper fibre. <laughs> I'll just be happy with another dinner if I can get another dinner out of this place. <laughs> I ain't brought any. I did actually. Well, I was going to bring some bluey. But then I forgot. I only got one bag of squid and then black and that that wrapper frozen blacks. 
Can't decide whether to throw a second rod out. Don't know if I can be bothered. I just fancy a bit of a lazy session. I must admit, a lot of, a lot of comments on... Oh, I'm ripping my jeans even more. I'll be able to go for a pee without undoing my fly now. Um, a lot of comments actually from last week's last video were a lot of people saying you did well to, to you both did well to stick it out. A lot of people would have packed up and gone home. It is. It is, yeah. It should be good condition, shouldn't it? Is it only 20 to 9, is it? See, it should, I mean, what? All right, 20 minutes it should start picking up then, shouldn't it? I'm starting to think we might have moved a bit too far back. We might not have needed to move this far. Well, we're coming up on a change, it's been 15 minutes. I'll knock this off for a bit. So just before, oh, which one knocks that? Hang on. So just before we lose all light, I just wanted to have a look. I've been saying for the last two trips that we'd have a look at the bench. So there's a bench. And this has all been made by visitors here. From Flotsam, and Flotsam from, from rubbish found on the beach. But there's all sorts of stuff in here. It's very cool. And just have a quick look around as we're just coming up to high tide it's really really cool so this is and it's it's to the point where the sort of the council are thinking about it's now become a local landmark and they're thinking about putting a pontoon out to be able to get here really really cool uh, I may have something or I might make something to add here <laughs> with this little uh, snapped off spin rod I think it's amazing Buoys. You know, memory tokens, you know, in memory of. It's really, really cool. It really is. We've got a load of stuff up here as well.
I don't know what's around the back, should we? But we'll have a look at the marsh actually while we're here. Just before we run out of daylight. Ah, so that's the path that I might try walking that one back. I don't know. We'll have to see because there's a path there. What I normally walk. Oh yeah, there's a path down there because I'm parked all the way off there in the distance. We might try walking that path back. I've not tried that one. Well, there's another bench around here though. Looks like a, a place to corral your horses. Look at that. Not light back on a sec. Look at that. People from Nottingham, look, from Hack Hacknell. Cool. So that's why. So that's why this mark is called the bench. Because of this thing. Oh, hang on. Hang on. What's Kurt on about? Oh, you brought in a rig without a load of weed on it. Jesus. It's first time. First time I've ever seen that down here. So yeah, time to concentrate on the on the rods or rod. Now we're coming up to high tide, which is when this side place fishes its best. Oh, Danny's in. Look, looks like a doggy. Looks like a doggy. Very small one, but it's got a doggy. So they're out here. It's time to concentrate on the rods. So nothing yet, and Danny down there has had uh, one little doggy. Uh, really, if this place, if it was going to fish its head off, it would have started by now. Um, it's it's an hour either side mark, really. Um, but it's just going to be a case of just keeping fresh scent in the water now. Not a great deal of anything else we can do. The conditions are right. They're either there or they're not. I've just... Um, my next bait, the next change is going to be a piece of squid, or half a squid, with a black lug tucked up inside it. Just to see, just to see. Can't hurt to have more scent in the water, can it? And the black lug, black lug I've just whipped on was absolutely gushing with oil. Frozen salted black lug, but uh, from Bait Box, if any of you know him. know him. Um, really good quality, really good quality. At least for the first one that I've pulled out, anyway. Very impressive. Although where I bought them from, not cheap, man. Not cheap at all. But 
you ain't got bait in the water, you can't catch, can you? I, I, I'm sort of regretting not setting up the other rod, to be honest. And yes, there's still time, but... It's a bit of a lazy fish, really, this one. Completely impromptu. You know, I went and picked up from Squid some black lug just from the local bait shop, because uh, Georgia Angling Danglers, I don't think, is open yet today. I think he opens tomorrow for the first time back from his, uh, from his charity event. Um, but yeah, next video, I might as well, I've been, I've been dangling this carrot haven't I, for a little while, so I might as well tell you, is going to be up at Blythe with one, if not both, of the Rod and Pollux lads. And hopefully I'm going to get to film two videos. One is going to be spinning or jigging for mackerel. And one is hopefully just going to be a... Um, a beach day. I've got two days up there, Saturday, Sunday. And then that's the actually the end of my paternal leave as well. So I'll be back to work the following day. But the hope is get some get some decent fish in. Hopefully the mackerel's going to be in. He messaged uh, Mick messaged me the other day saying that mackerel's in, and the was it pilchards? He said not pilchards. Herring. I don't like herring. I don't I don't eat herring. Uh, the, the herring are in as well, apparently. So I shall head up there. He's got a couple of marks uh, that he knows. Um, and yeah, I'll be filming up there for a couple of days, and then it'll be back. And it'll be middle of August, so we might head back down to Sutton. Back there, go down. But, um, Check out Trunch Lane. I've not been to Trunch Lane yet. We might check that one out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really want to get. There's a fella. There's a gent who messaged me. Um, Alf, who is um, a vet, and he can't get out. Not a vet, as in an army vet, uh, and he can't get to distant marks. Lives in Cleethorpes, but he can't get to distant marks. Which is all well and good on high tide because you can fish in front of the big wheel on a big tide, um, and it produces a decent, a decent evening's fishing. But um, he wants to, he wants to go see some other marks. So hopefully, I'm going to arrange with him and take him. And I think my, my first outing back on the Lynx coast, and we might, I might take him down to Tronch Lane. Alf, if you see this video, let me know if you fancy that. Um, and we'll try and, and sort something out. Um, I'm not going to be able to pin a date down because it depends how quickly the missus recovers. Um, she has a, a problem with hemorrhaging. Um, it depends how quickly she recovers. So Alf, whilst I'm sort of not keeping an eye on the fish and I'm rather busy, if you can keep your eyes on the catch reports and, and think, think about where you might like to go, uh, towards the middle end of August, well, end of August, really. Um, let me know, and if um, I wouldn't mind, you know, going north up to Spurn Point somewhere like that. Well, up, well up for that. So let me know. Uh, we might have a car full though if we end up doing that, because I know Kurt's, Kurt's saying he'd love to go up there and uh, fish Spurn Point. But I don't know when it does and doesn't fish. I don't know. So let me know. I would just like to take this opportunity. There's two things I want to say. One is, please press that subscribe button if you haven't already, or if you're not already subscribed, if you've made it this far into the video, please do press that red subscribe button. Press the thumbs up button, press the share, share it to your Facebook page, share it with your friends, family, people who don't like fishing, people who do like fishing. Do all that for me. It, it, it helps me out, it really does. And the other thing I would really like to take this opportunity to say from the bottom of my heart, Thank you for all the support I get on Facebook. On Facebook, you guys know who you are who message me regular. Um, even those of you that just say how you doing, those that wish me well for the birth of the baby, 
you all know who you are and it really does mean a lot. I'm new to this community and I have been made to feel very, very welcome. So thank you. It, it really is. It's worlds apart from the, from, the, from the gardening community that I'm used to. Um, you know, if you turn if you turn a stone the wrong way in the gardening community, then you just never get end of it. Um, whereas the fishing community is the stark opposite. For the most part, you're all lovely, lovely people. Um, apart from that curve, it's a bit um, Yes, yeah, so thank you. I really mean that. Thank you. Um, it's it's been great meeting new people, talking to new people, ranting on YouTube is is always one of my favourite things to do. This is not a, a how to fish channel. It is a channel about my journey of learning how to fish. Um, I only started in December and even then it was only a couple of trips out, really didn't know what I was doing, I still don't know what I'm doing, but I am really looking forward to some winter cod fishing this year, um, I really really am. I'm going to finish my tea, that's the soppy stuff over, I'm going to knock the camera off because I haven't brought enough lights, so I'm going to knock the camera off. Um, and we're going to have to go to an off and on scenario, unfortunately, because uh, I didn't bring enough lights. I didn't think it was going to get this dark, to be honest. I'm not finished my tea, and it's bait change time. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, sit rep, as before. No action. The weed's dropped out, which is nice. Uh, but no action on the rods. I've not had so much as a sniff tonight. Uh, we are at high tide now. So we've probably got maybe another hour's fishing. Depends how quickly it goes out. There's, with no wind to hold it in, it could go out quite quick. We may only get another half an hour. It is very dark. I lost the tip light. So the curse of losing gear continues. <laughs> so far, yeah, so today all I've managed to do so far is make the hole in my jeans much, 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 much bigger. Suffice it to say, these jeans need to go in the bin when I get home. And I'm glad I'll be walking home in the dark and that it's not the middle of the day and there's no families about. Another 10, 15 minutes and I'll have to go to my second tip light and if I lose that one, I've got no tip light for that rod. Uh, I'm gonna have to invest in some, I think. I do prefer the little uh, little breakaway one. Um, but I'd have to change the uh, the seat that's on that rod for a different seat, so it's no biggie I suppose, it's, it's super glued onto some electrical tape that's wrapped around the tip of the rod. But tip lights are definitely easier than a head torch, in my opinion. But it is getting dark quite. I didn't think it was gonna get this dark. And I thought it was gonna uh... Ooh. Ooh. Is that my eyes playing games on me? I'm going to have to get my head torch out. Because I think... I 
think the tip of my rod's nodding. Just a little. Well, if it was, it's not now. Must have just been a... My eyes playing tricks on me. I think it might be time for my last cup of tea. I'll see, mm, sorry. I'll see you in a bit. Right, gents, ladies and gents. Oh, I think Kurt's got a present for me. He has, Kurt's got a present for me. It looks like he's at a rave. <laughs> yeah, man. You didn't get wet, did you? No. <laughs> he's got my tip light back up. <laughs> They didn't go far, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, this is, this is me signing off for tonight. Oh, unless something happens, I am gonna, I'm going to pat the camera down. Uh, but if something happens, I'll, what I'll do is I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll put a picture of it. Now, if something happens, I don't think it will. Uh, the weeds come back unfortunately uh, the rods haven't moved all night all night I am gonna we think we've, we've just said we're gonna have are you rebaiting again now all ah, right we're gonna have a we're gonna have one more chuck I think um, Yeah, it has, hasn't it? Um, so I'm going to get another uh, uh, another bait ready. But yeah, if, if nothing happens, mm, sorry. If nothing happens, that's going to be it from me. It's it's aside from a bit of wet weather. It's been glorious down here. It's lovely and warm. I thought it'd be quite cold this evening, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it it's been lovely. And I've said this is my last video. Don't tell the missus, but there's a possibility. Slim though it may be, there's a possibility that I'll come out again at the weekend. Don't know whether I'll come here or whether I might make a day of it if, as, as it might be my last session depending on tide times i might go crunch or sutton or somewhere like that i don't know weather forecast is a bit grim to be honest i think water's going to get washed out and it's going to get a little fresh um so i don't know if it's going to be worth the hassle the storms that the rest of the country had are due to hit us in these next few days so I really don't know if it's going to be worth going out. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to tidy up. I'm going to pat the camera down. Um, it's obviously, as you can tell, it's dark. So I'm going to tidy up, pat the camera down and yeah, make life a bit easy for myself for going home. 
then we have to wait to an extent for the tide to go back out so that the creeks behind us empty um, or at least empty enough to be able to walk through but we're probably where are we? we're probably by the time we've walked back we're not far from there now I'm surprised, I think we're all been a bit stubborn tonight. I think we're all been a bit stubborn. The, the, the fellas that are down at the side of us, they're still going. Um, and I think a lot, a lot would have given up by now, to be honest. It's been a, it's been a hard fortnight and it's definitely one, one nil to the sea. I mean, one little doggy pulled out that we've seen. Um, and that's been it. So sorry, yeah, it's a bland video for you this time, guys. Um, <laughs> do subscribe. This is true fishing. It's not just catch after catch after catch. It's, this is this is what it's like. Press that like button. Press that dislike button. Talk to me in comments below. Let me know what you do and don't like. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know if you've got any mark advice for coming at the end of August uh, on the Lynx Coast and the Humber. And in uh, Huttoft as well. Is it Huttoft that side? Spurn and Huttoft, I think. Um, yeah, but back, back, August Bank Holiday, I think, is going to be the next East Coast video. Yeah, East Coast. Um, I'll see you later, guys.